I'm sorry. We must repair the transmat. Yes. What are you doing here? Oh, no mind. Uh, get this thing out of here. I was ordered to deliver the ATRs to this position, sir. ATRs and the tank rockets. Yes, sir. Will these things be any good against the Daleks? Not the Daleks we're after. It's the transmat. You have to sign for them, sir. Well, that possibly has to be one of the most memorable uh, sequences in the whole of Doctor Who. The first time we see a Dalek rising there on the staircase. Remembrance of the Daleks, of course, by Ben Aronovich. And uh, just by coincidence, that clip is the first clip I remember seeing as a little boy on television very clearly in my mind's eye. I can remember the Dalek gliding across and then uh, climbing up the stairs, menacing the Doctor. A wonderful performance there from Sylvester McCoy. And we can start to see this sort of um, weaving of the Andrew Cartmore plan, can't we, making the Doctor slightly darker and uh, more um, mysterious. Just at the end there, we saw um, group captain uh, Chunky Gilmore and um, Rachel and Alison, who would go on to have their own sort of series in uh, the uh, the Big Finish uh, audio plays. Wonderful to see Sophie Aldred destroying a Dalek there and beginning to show us what a uh, ace is all about, sort of a real sort of sense of <laughs> get up and go with her there, wasn't there? Wow, very impressive. And some lovely uh, sort of explosions and special effects going on. Uh, I think that sort of slightly sinister sort of looking girl we saw has something to do with the, the plot. I think she's been taken over by the Daleks. But again, another great performance uh, from her. Um, and I think that was Michael Sheard, who we saw as the headmaster, who, of course, had appeared uh, several times before in Doctor Who, I think most notably in Pyramids of Mars as Marcus Scarman's brother, Lawrence. And I think he was also in The um, Invisible Enemy and possibly one or two others. Um, but yes, this one has um, real affection in my heart. And uh, uh, not just because it was the first one I fully remember seeing on television, um, 
I I think this is probably one of the all-time greats of Doctor Who as well. Um, of course, returning to Coal Hill School, uh, the uh, setting of the very first episode uh, with Susan Foreman. In fact, I think Ace at one point opens the same book that Susan uh, looked into uh, on the uh, French Revolution uh, later on in the story. And of course, this would also see the return of Terry Malloy as Davros. Um, yes, I can't uh, compliment this one enough, uh, really. I just love it. And uh, I think somewhere um, I should have, ah, yes, my uh, Imperial Dalek and uh, Sylvester McCoy toy. Yes, uh, I've kept it in its packaging. So hopefully one day, one day it might be valuable. <laughs> and of course, this was the beginning of season 25, the silver anniversary. <laughs> 